Hey, what's going on YouTube? Uh, back with another watch unboxing today. Um, kind of a cool one. Um, I've had this one on my list to check out for quite some time. And there was a great deal on it on Amazon. And um, I figured it was time to give it a shot and see if it uh, kind of lives up to what I had in my head. So here is the, um, the model number. SUR307 um, and the MSRP price. Guys, I don't know if a lot of people know about this watch because I don't see a lot of guys wearing them. And for me, it's pretty, I mean, we're gonna check it out now. And this is the first time I've ever seen one, but it's a pretty awesome watch um, based off of just the specs. There it is. Wow, yeah. I'm impressed already, to be quite honest with you. Um, so this is the, they call this one on, uh, at least on Amazon, I'm pretty sure on the Seiko website, it's called the Essential Watch. And it's a affordable quartz watch. Um, so for those that don't know quartz, is, you know, the battery operated. Um, and it kind of has a grand Seiko look to it. Um, I got the white version, which was the cheapest at the time. And I paid... 115 um which is just an absolute steal um and i'll tell you the main reason why and let's see if this gives it away right there sapphire crystal guys i have high-end seiko watches um i've got uh the seiko willard i've got the uh, marine master uh, 200 i've got the darth tuna and those watches come with sapphire but those watches all cost roughly a thousand dollars and more this watch was 115 dollars i have tons of other seikos uh, one day i need to do a collection uh, and show everybody but i've got a lot i've got skx's turtles samurais all the kind of 400 to 600 dollar watch range i've got all those and guys they all come with mineral crystal crystal you don't get into sapphire with a seiko until you're around the thousand dollar mark uh you know generally speaking some of the king turtles and stuff they have those but then again they're around 700 500 700 dollars so um and they're very select few for 115 dollars to get sapphire crystal and seiko um i don't know i feel like this is kind of a sleeper the bracelet, I'm not so sure about. Um, it's got the press clasp, kind of cheap. It doesn't look bad though. Um, but guys, this is kind of, this looks like a strap monster to me. This looks like something you put a nice canvas strap on or something, dress it down just a little bit, and then you've kind of got that um, kind of Alpinist, um, Seiko Sarks, Grand Seiko kind of look. Um, the water resistance looks like, again, what it says, uh, you know, 100 feet, so not that great, but not terrible. Um, it's not a screw and crown, obviously. Uh, but man, for a quartz beater Seiko, something that you can dress up or dress down, again, the white is kind of my favorite. Um, I don't know how you can beat it. And especially having that sapphire crystal, you're not going to be afraid to bang it around. Um, the bracelet feels decent. It doesn't feel real clingy or cheap. It's nice and signed. Um, the case back, you know, it's hard to see through the camera, but pretty boring if you can see that. Yeah. But man, for a grab and go watch, sapphire crystal, new link removal system bracelet. I do not, it looks like a pin and collar to me. I guess if this is a model they've had for a long time, maybe it was new at one point in time, but not for a long time ago. Um, but man, guys, I'm impressed. Um, as far as unboxings go, it's pretty simple. Just like every other Seiko, you get the cushion and stuff. But guys, for $115, I'm sorry, but this might be the kind of the best value. Um, I know there's you know some of the cheaper automatic, um, the field watches, um, the Seiko 5 field watches and stuff. Um, those used to be really cheap for a mechanical uh, watch, but um, they didn't have Sapphire Crystal, you know? So, and not that Sapphire is the end all be all, but man, it's a good looking watch. Got your date. 
Everything seems to line up. It looks like the seconds hand's lining up perfectly, well, almost perfectly, pretty, pretty dadgum close. Yeah, that's close for a Seiko, that's excellent. So, man, I'm impressed, guys. Real thin, really thin. I don't know, what is that? 10 or 11 millimeters thick? Super thin, super comfortable, but yeah, guys, this is gonna go on a strap for me. Great size. I can't remember, to be honest with you. It looks like 40, I would say. 40 millimeters, and I don't think it says on here, unfortunately. But yeah, there's the caliber, 6N52. Yeah, guys, I would swipe these up when you can. I mean, why Seiko is putting a sapphire crystal on a $115 watch, I don't know. I, I, and uh, it's really got those higher-end kind of Grand Seiko look, doesn't it? But yeah, swipe them up when you can, guys. Who knows when Seiko's going to kind of wisen up to it, but can't tell if there's a spec in the, oh that's on the that's actually on the glass and it doesn't look like it comes with a crystal protector but yeah guys it's a great looking watch pick one up i know this one's kind of long-winded but i was i was just kind of shocked they do come in black um i believe it's like a black a gray and there might be a blue one i think there's a blue one they all look great but i just like that white kind of kind of you know baby snowflake-esque i guess you could say and uh, I don't really have a lot of kind of white dials, so really nice. The bracelet's not that bad on it. It really isn't that bad. I'm kind of surprised at how good it is, actually. Again, it's just so cheap. Um, the end links are not solid. So, um, but no rattle, really. I mean, there's a little bit, but it's really not that bad. It's pretty solid. All right, guys. I feel like I'm rambling on in this one, but... Cool watch, pick it up if you get a chance, especially if you can find it for 115. It's a great price for a really nice watch. Good beater. Talk to you later.